the internet, one of the internet's greatest strengths is one of its greatest weaknesses in that it allows communities that would otherwise, to be built that otherwise would never exist. Yeah. Um, people with very specific needs or interests can find one another in the world in a way that they would never have been able to before. Um, if you are a teenager in Hong Kong you, and you have a particular interest in one star um, in the galaxy that you th find really fascinating, you can actually find other people who have that fascination with that one star. Um, and it may only be 20 of you across the you know, 7 billion people on the face of the earth, but it allows you to build that community. Those communities are not always for good. Right, those communities can be uh, used for, uh, and, and as we learn over and over again, you know, not just the hackers, but the trolls, you know, the people who just, um, who are basically sociopaths who enjoy hurting other people. Um, and they can build their own communities as well. And that's not exactly a great thing. So, you know, with, with, as with most technologies, it's a double-edged sword. Um, you, you don't get the good without the bad. And our challenge is to encourage the good and discourage the bad whereas wherever possible.